Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome back to Deathmark. Previously, we defeated the Cannon Soldier. Now we're off to finally end the Mark once and for all. Nope, the mansion's out of the way. Mansion climbs into the backseat of the car. His heavy scent fills the enclosed space. Oh, I could finally catch my breath. Now then, driver, take us to the forest by each castle. I drive down the familiar road. All lights along the way are strangely green. We reach our destination without me having to slow down the car once. The engine chugs along. I feel the wheels of fate turning. The wheels of fate are turning! Like those in the car I'm riding in. Ten days ago, I promised. In exchange for you buying me an extra order of almond jelly. If you did forget everything, I'd take it to each shrine. Sounds like I prepared for everything. If I was that careful, why did I leave myself a clue? Why prepare if I was just going to forget? Did I the curse progress faster than expected so there wasn't time? Or did someone get rid of it? A bad business at H Shrine. Why didn't I go there while I still had my memories? Something about timing. Waiting for some magic summer cleaning to clear away impurity. Suddenly my old self echoes in my head. I speak the words out loud slowly as realization dawns. The summer purification rites. The rites held the shrines to exercise evil. On the last day of June, you pass through woven reeds to cleanse yourself. I was trying to use that ritual to exercise the impurity. Oh, gotcha. Luckily, today's the 1st of July, so the rites are whatever are done. Should be no problem now. Exercise the impurity, huh? What kind of impurity was I trying to cleanse? The more I learn, the less I understand. My previous self is like a complete stranger to me. How many times have I come to this forest now? The creepy arch and thick trees look the same as always. You know where H Shrine is, yeah? Lead the way. You've never been there. First I heard of it was ten days ago. Banshee and I push through the vegetation and make our way down the beast trail. We pass under the stone Tory gate. And finally arrive at the desolate H Shrine. A few headless Buddha statues that are left shine in the light of the flashlight. So the statues used in the project were stolen from here. Yeah, that's right. Is it really true the statues are connected to the mark somehow? I've considered the possibility that the mark was caused by their divine wrath. But ten days ago... You said what happened 50 years ago wasn't because of the project. It was all because of her. This course I've been following this whole time. Then, at some point I had to have been fed some huge lie. What could it be? A shudder runs through me at the thought. It feels like I'm looking to the depths of hell. You said tens of days ago that... That altar holds something important. Something about needing to keep it here to exercise the impurity. He approaches a small altar and puts his hand on the sliding door. Huh? What's going on here? The thing's empty! Don't ask me. It was already gone when I was here earlier. Well, that's darn weird. You said there was a cloth pouch. What was inside? A small fist-sized statue. A ninja butsu or something. It was the ghost shintai for the shrine. The Kujo had used it in the shelter to stop the mess for the years ago. And again, it's the Kujo family. They must have strong ties to the mark. Oh, this is about all I can do for you. At least it was enough to pay off the dessert. We should head back, son. Right. I'm still unsure about what my old self was thinking, but... It's clear whatever plan I had didn't work. 
Where did the ninja putsu go? Just something about Mary. A something a little off. A something about Mary. And she's probably some kind of evil demon thing. Sealed in a doll. It came from the shrine. Took the Buddhist statues. It screwed me over. Cause she has some kind of weird obsession with me. Maybe a crush. Cause I'm so good looking. I mean, I don't blame her. We'll see if I'm right. On the way back, I feel reluctance to go. I keep trying to look toward the shrine. Each time I do, Banshee hurries me on to the forest entrance. Well, this is where we part ways. You're not going to ride back with me? Hell no, it's a death trap! I'm gonna be honest with you. I got a bit car stuck in the way here. Flat road's fine, but the curves and hills do me in. I just got a nice meal, and I hate to throw it up, so I'll walk back. But it's pretty far from here. Kids are such whims these days. When I was young, I used to walk across the Himalayas all the time. This ain't nothing. <laughs> Later, Banshee. You got a cool name. His laugh is loud enough for the whole force to hear. He waves and leaves me alone. Once he's off sign, I get into the car. I pull out of the deserted parking lot and drive back to the mansion. As I count the streetlights passing by, I go over everything Banshee told me. Fifty years ago in the shelter, the cannon soldier went berserk, but it wasn't because of the army's experiments, it was her. The army was unable to stand up to the threat of her and the soldier, but the Kujo family had used the ninja boots to sell everything. However, she still exists in this time period. She was the one who gave me my mark. Before I lost my memories, I was planning on using the ninja butsu like they did before. I left it at each shrine so it'd be cleansed of its impurity. But somewhere along the line, it went missing. The past me probably couldn't have predicted that would happen. I'm almost back at Kujo Mansion. As my drive comes to an end, I focus on what the most important detail is. That's right. Who she is. I have a hunch about her identity, but I can't be sure yet. Told you, the red pillow. And that definitely proves that she was there. Fifty years ago, she made the cannon soldier move down in the shelter. The Kujo family's head sealed her. They would have brought her to the mansion. The sacred objects for the project of which she was one were returned to the Kujos. I grip the steering wheel tighter. If there were any way to defeat her, it just has to be in the mansion. I don't have any solid proof, but the fragments of my memories are whispering to me. Live or die. The entrance doesn't look any different. Here we go. My mark burns. The sharp pain only brings me to my knees. It seems she has no intention of hiding her presence any longer. It was probably a fake Mary this entire time. That's when the mark never went nuts when we were nearby. It was just like hiding in the backyard. If it was added to the spirit file and pursue the truth. Yeah, you're damn right we're gonna save. Last time I saw Banshee, I told him that I completely forgot everything he should take me to his shrine. He says I wanted to recover some ninja butsu thing that was there. When we went to the ride, the ninja butsu was oddly missing. All the effort that I went through to prevent the mark from causing havoc was wasted. But I feel like I'm getting closer to the truth I'm pursuing. I defeated five spirits now since I first came to Pujo Mansion, and none were the one that gave me my mark. So where exactly is this she that I need to face? My old self knew and prepared something to help me with no memory. But there must be a way to stop her. Don't be afraid, I've got to trust in myself. Hmm. So I got four gun blanks. Whether that should be used or not. And all these items.
Mary. The real one. Don't you try to act pretty around me. Show your real face. Mary's voice is soft. I know now. Behind those words is hidden an intense lust for blood. You make your cute squeak noises. You came back to life rather quickly. You gave me nearly a whole day. More than enough time. I admit that rabbit's attack surprised me. But unexpected events can themselves be rather enjoyable. The rabbit took you down! Damn, that's a hardcore rabbit! When I had brought Mary to H Shrine, we caught sight of the rabbit there. It might have suspected Mary's true nature. That rabbit, its great love for you pushed it to recklessness. What was that rabbit really? Determine that for yourself. Who are you? Know that and the answer will come. Though it is impossible so long as you bear the mark I gave you. Mary gave me the mark. I had a hunch, but hearing from her lips fills me with dread. Just what are you trying to accomplish? Dragging the living to the depths of despair before killing them. I believe I explained that as a spirit's utmost desire and joy. And I had your cooperation with achieving that. Cooperate. That's ridiculous. Oh? Have you not realized yet? You did bring those prophetic mark bearers directly to the spirits, did you not? That was that stupid rule we couldn't go in groups. They feared the spirit's existence, trembled in the face of death. I savored the taste of that fear and despair. Most delicious. You had all of us help out, just to terrify the mark bears even more. Clearly, I could have waited for the curses to complete if I only wanted them dead. That is not the only lie. Mark bears must stay in small groups, do not contact outsiders. All my instructions were to drive you into a state of emergency. And not once did you doubt me. We would have died then, if we stuck hard to that rule. I bet she's telling me all of this, because she wants me to terrified with how hopeless a situation I find myself in. I'm frozen in place and I know my face must be as pale as death. She must be loving this. Don't tell me you create all those spirits, just to accomplish that. Indeed, when Lady Christie believed Divine Wrath was the cause of the mark, I had never been more amused. Her foolishness was so delightful. I just had to come along with you. So you lied. Of course. How could a pile of broken statues possibly do anything? I could be imagining it, but... I feel like she hesitated for a moment there. Fifty years ago, I was sealed away by the head of the Kujo family. I awoke here five years ago. At the time, I was still unable to speak and communicate, but it seems my awakening alone caused a number of ripples. Those who died in fortune deaths on cursed land became monstrous spirits. The age elementary abuse, the honeybee mass suicide, Seiko's assault and suicide, they all happened five years ago. I finally regained my full power a little over a month ago. Then the Buddha statue connected to me 50 years ago began moving. The woman killed by the statue was also influenced by my power. That must be the cannon soldier in Zukawa. Zukawa believed it was divine oracle from the soldier when it really had been Mary. She did as the great Asura said and transformed herself into Miss Zu. Once my strength returned, I again bestowed my power on spirits. It connects humans to me and manipulates them into a panic. The mark. I know you've been toying with us, but well. Was there really a need to make us be connected to you in some way? Of course. By being in direct contact with you, I could taste your fear. Even now. Are you scared of me, Lord Yashiki? No. Very admirable. Don't do transform into this monster! Her porcelain face cracks. 
Ever since you declared that you would fight the mark, I have waited eagerly for this day. Oh God. Over the past ten days, I have tasted your fear through the mark. Thick and syrupy, as sweet as honey. Each savored morsel made me want to smash you to pieces, but I waited. I am not so foolish as to kill a goose that lays golden eggs. Ah, uh, but I cannot take it any more. Like crushing ripe fruit and sipping its juices, I want to break you down and savor your sweet fear. Oh, God! Oh no. You're gonna do some weird alien stalking thing to make you scared. The mark is tied to deep crimson. Sunrise. A few minutes left until death closes in. You want a piece of me? Come get a piece of me. My thoughts blur together suddenly. What happens to a mark bear right before dawn? I've seen it many times. Is that what's happening to me now? Lord Yashiki, wait for me. I'll k k k k k kill. Oh god, the squeaks! I can hear Mary stand up over by the sofa. At this rate, the rabbit's fate will be mine, too. I have to run away. Check within the red in my room. Something whispers in my ear. That's right, that voice. But. What does my room mean? Focus, who does that voice belong to? Asuoka, she said it was someone who loved me. Live. Or. Die. Seriously, live or die. Mary's coming closer. Where should I run? Ah, Sayas? I spin at full speed up the stairs. He said love. And fly in a side's room. Safe. Much like the entrance hall, it's dark. The voice said check within the red in my room. There's something there. But where should I look? Desk. Bed. Floor. Blood. She died over it. Saikujo's bloodstain is still on the floor. It's obviously dry by this point in time. There might be something lying on top of it. I can't be sure as it's too dark. Nothing was there last time I was here. Picking it up, I discover that it's a small pouch. Inside is a hard phenomenon object. Namibutsa! I move over to the moonlight to see better. It's a small Buddha statue. Can't be. This is the Ninjibutsu. It seems to be stained with blood and I get an ominous feeling from it. It's not purified. The impurity hasn't been exercised yet. I instinctively know the instant I see it. My mind is suddenly flooded with all my memories of the Ninjibutsu and one after another. Fifty years ago, the head of the Kujo family used this to steal Mary's power. He put the Ninjibutsu inside her to seal her. Then about a month ago, someone took it out. That person was me. Yep. That was dumb. Because of that, Mary regained her powers. Wanda Waifu a little too hard. We just saw Chobits, and we're like, you know what? I got spirit powers. The ninja puts in my hand looks exactly as it did back then, full of impurity. By the way, Saito Kucho's her sister. I'm just saying that's gonna come up here, because it was pretty obvious. Impurity that's built up from stealing Mary's power for 50 years. To cleanse it, I left the ninja butsu in the uncontaminated age shrine. It would take time to exercise all the impurity. It's already July, and the summer purification rite is over. So why is it still impure? The object the rabbit had in its mouth. It could have been carrying the pouch in instead of the master key. But the ninja butsu was taken away from age shrine before the beginning of July. 
Maybe the rabbit saw Mary by the shrine and was scared that she would find it. So I had no choice but to steal it away. The door to the adjacent room opens. Mary must be looking for me. God, it's like Freddy now. But she can sense a presence of Mark's bears. What's going on? Wait. Is it possible that Sai's blood is protecting me? Bring it to where I met my end. The voice whispers in my ear again. If this isn't where the voice's owner died, then they must have met their ends elsewhere. There's only one other place. Where the rabbit died, right? While Mary's in the room next door, I sprint down to the entrance hall. And they could be like the Mary's self in the spot where the rabbit died. The voice that spoke to me and helped me every time the spirit was closing in. If Sai was working through in anything, it must have been that rabbit. Sensing something, I looked down at my hand. The ninja boots whose impurity is gone. Is this what you've been telling me, Sai? I speak to the departed woman who's guided me as I struggled without memories. Put the ninja boots with the source of the doll's curse. Press it to the black mark. Well, actually, also, Sayakujo, we don't know if they're a bloodline descendant. We could That could have also been a wife. And then we're, uh, we're not siblings. We're, she married into the, the Kujo family, which would be us. Press it to the black mark. Then the whispers stop. The floorboards creak ominously. I raise my head to the staircase rising into the darkness before me. Oh god. The dark figure stands on the landing. I found you. Oh, oh god. The mark scorches me. My head goes blank. Mary's coming closer. My body won't listen to me. Oh no. Uh, Lord Yashiki. Mary closes her hand around my neck. She, she, she's trying to k kill me. Squeeze a ninja butsu in the fog that's impeding my fox lifts. It's still a struggle to think. I should be able to move my arm now. Put the ninja butsu on the source of the curse. I only have one chance. Where should I stick to the ninja butsu? No, seriously. The head? The mouth. Right arm, left arm. What? Just go for the mouth. We're dead. I meant to drag my impossible heavy arm to stick the ninja boots in Mary's mouth. Whoops, wrong one. Oh god! So I panicked, shoved it into the mouth. Also, because parts I wanted to see what the game over CG would be. To be honest, um, but it's the right arm. You even see it in the thing. You see the marks on the right arm. It's always the right, even with the cannon soldier. Right is always right, of course. Die, monster! I managed to drag my impossibly heavy arm and stick ninja boots on Mary's right arm. She's hiding it. But I'm sure that's where the black mark was. Yeah, yeah. Marks bloom on Barry, and one after another. They're all the color of blood. It's like the curses of those she killed.
You don't belong in this world. Survived. Mary showers into dust. Did I really do it? I see look down at my right arm. The mark is gone. This is why you never trust anime girls. I did it. I finally did it. I just say it out loud to convince myself. A victory at the expense of Sai's life. I can't claim it's completely over, but there's no harm being relieved for now. The thought cladding my head clears away. My memory slowly returned to me. I look around the dimly lit hall again. I know this mansion well. Because I'm... The clock on the second floor begins chiming wildly like it did ten days ago. I make my way toward it, it stops. Almost as if it has a will of its own. That's right. That's grandfather clock. I think a skilled ancestor of the Cujo family crafted. Even the grandfather clock is alive. The door was alive. The grandfather clock is alive. Mary is alive. We're like Pinocchio here. Not Pinocchio, but uh, the the one who created Pinocchio, rather. I remember his name, but I don't want to see it because I'm not sure if I'm wrong or not. Geppetto? Something like that? Yeah. That one chisel may have been used to make it. That's right. Inside this clock. I open the door and stick my hand inside. My fingers press something hard. Taking it out, I realize it's a voice recorder. I press the play button. It's a man's voice. A man I know all too well. It's my voice. I decided to leave this record behind in case something should happen. That doll may dispose of any files or documents. I'm banking on her overlooking a piece of technology. Ha <laughs> ha! There are you, outdated piece of crap. What's this? Technology? Me know no things. Me from past. Throws away. All me know is suffering of human mortals. As I listen, I start to remember recording this. I done it right before I received the mark from Mary. Now, where should I begin? It started five years ago, two years after I became Kujo family head. My sister Sai and I, okay, so they are siblings. Sai and I found the doll in the wood box while sorting the warehouse. The moment I broke the seal and saw her, I could sense something sinister. But it took a while longer to fully understand what she truly is. If only there had been records. The great grandfather who sealed her didn't leave any before his early death. Because of that, his descendants weren't told about the doll. I imagine Luna Doll had been loaned to an army lab during the war. A strange old man who lived in an underground shelter told me, and I went overseas to try to get more information on the doll. Will you come from the west? But I got into an accident while away and was presumed missing. So Saya became the new family head. I wasn't able to contact her until after she had inherited the title. It wasn't something worth contesting, so I explained everything and had her keep up the facade that I was missing. Public records still stated Mazamuna Kuja was very much alive, of course. I couldn't have used my passport or license otherwise. Oh, so we do have a license. No topic, sorry. I only just returned to the country last week. Whatever psychics abroad all agreed it would be apt to leave the doll me. An engine boots inside the doll still suppressed its cursed power, but... I realized that it was almost at its limit. If I left it alone, it would crumble. Then it'd be impossible to suppress the cursed power of the doll. That was the worst case scenario. But what was to be done? 
The answer I came up with was to remove the Nenjiputsu from the doll temporarily. Its impurity would be cleansed after a month stored in a pure area, and then I'll place it back in the doll. If I succeed, the doll's power will be sealed for a few more decades. So about every few decades, we gotta like take that thing out, cure it, and then put it back. I hope Mary doesn't like cause hell during that time. Yeah, so yeah, we are the Belmonts versus Dracula now. But well, the problem is that one month. I have no idea what kind of curse will be released when the doll's unsealed. I'll do what I can to prevent the disasters. But my power can't compare to Nenji the Butsu. I can't guarantee anything. There may be victims again like the tragedy 50 years ago. But this is a necessary evil. It must be done in order to prevent even more people from falling victim. After this, I'll disassemble the doll and remove the ninja butsu. I pray everything goes according to plan and the worst of evils is avoided. I hope this record isn't needed. But... If the one listening to this has a loved one who's fallen victim to the curse... Then I'm very sorry. The recording ends there. Damn it. I clench my fist so hard my nail dig into my palms. Yes, the voice on the tape was mine, but I'm furious with it. I don't know that person at all. The mark has claimed so many victims over the past month. I even lost my little sister, Saya. Was she just another inevitable victim that the voice spoke of? I... It had to be done. You know it to be true. It had to be done. I'm Kazuo Yashiki, but I'm also Mazumune Kujo. I understand why he felt as if he had to do that. It was his fate. The Kujo family are forever linked to the cursed doll. We will always hunt the Dio when he awakens. Now the whole like intros by Mary on the chapters just takes a whole nother meaning. Two months have passed. The occasional cool breeze signals that summer is almost over. I've spent my time putting the case of the mark to rest as best as I can. I put side to rest by burying the rabbit and contact the surviving mark bearers. Putting the Buddhist statues in places of honor was also one of those tasks. They weren't connected to the mark after all, but I couldn't just leave them there. Cause yeah, it was kind of weird that... Yeah... In Buddhism, there is divine wrath and stuff, but they're not like malicious curses like that. So I thought that was always a little odd, but it's still fiction, so I just ran with it for the time being. I mean, I always suspected Mary was the evil one. Um, I just wasn't sure if she was evil evil or necessary good evil. But no, she's just evil evil. Plus, there was no way Christy would keep quiet about the statues. So with her guidance and Yasuoka Diamond and Banshee's help, I carried the broken statues out of the shelter and turned them to H Shrine. By now, my memory has completely returned. Things didn't quite go as originally planned, but at least the danger has passed. I don't think my decision as Masamune Kujo was wrong, but at times, waves of powerlessness and despondency overwhelm me. When I think of the victims of the Mark and of Saiyan in particular, my chest hurts. I want to do something for them as the new head of the Kujo family. About the memories I've regained, I became the Kucho family head seven years ago. I'll admit I was a bit of a recluse. I left the public appearance as a Saya, preferring to stay out of the spotlight. The only foes of me are from small local newspapers. Oh! In the opening, you have like a- you can like kind of lie about what your nature is related to Saya. And I think one of them was probably like a foreshadowing of the- the twist. I uncovered Mary by accident in the family's warehouse five years ago. It was a discovery that changed my life. I traveled extensively abroad in order to learn more about Mary. In one country I got into an accident and fell into a coma for half a year. Even worse, that country proceeded to treat me as an unidentified traveler. I don't know if that was merely my terrible luck or if Mary's curse had something to do with it. When I was finally able to contact home, Sai had already become the new head. The rest was as the tape said. 
I had no idea that Mary's power was far greater than I had imagined. All my efforts to suppress her power were completely useless. My memories unraveled faster than I thought. So what is Mary, anyway? Yeah, see? How did Mary come to be in the first place? One theory says a doll maker in the 19th century used magic to create her. Another says the spirit of a young girl who died prematurely took up residence in a doll. In the end, it's still mystery. No one knows what happened to create a doll like that. We only know that each of Mary's owners died tragic deaths. Shortly after the turn of the 20th century, she came to be owned by the head of the Cujos. He either didn't know of the curse or simply didn't believe it. Disasters began befalling the family. That's why all the Cujos start dying early. Mary gained enough power to become sentient and produce spirits. Then the tragedy in the shelter had happened. The seeming grudges of the experiment's victims and the Buddha statues. They may have triggered her awakening. Whatever Mary's true identity is, the fact remains she altered many people's fates. Mine and the Mark Bears included. Speaking of... An update on surviving Mark Bears. This is the part I'd probably be a lot different if certain people died. Moya Watanabe became a part-time writer of a favorite magazine, oh, oh, Arts Monthly. She sometimes comes to Kujo Mansion interviewing about spirits and ghosts. She'd eventually go on to join another series called Mob Psycho 100. Psycho Yoshida is studying every day for the middle school exams next year. He brightened his letter to me about how well he did in the national mock test. Satoru Mashita brought me a drink like he promised. You good guy, Mashito. Seems he's thinking about becoming a private detective. He actually asked me if I wanted to join him. Was he serious? I don't know for sure. Join him! Then we have cool, cool supernatural adventures. He can be like the cynical guy, and we can be like the spiritual guy, and it's like X-Files. It's like, well, your ghosts don't exist. Well, remember that one time with Mary? Well, ghosts still don't exist in this case. Shou Nagashima is picking fights, riding his bike, and doing whatever he wants as usual. But recently, out of the blue, I learned he's joined his neighborhood baseball team. Good for you. Christy Aramura has started writing an essay exposing all of her past affairs. She's trying to get back into the industry. Suzu Mormia was able to see her father. Lately, she started asking me for advice about how to get her parents to reconcile. I have no idea if I helped at all, but she says they sometimes have meals together now. Eita Nakamatsu has gotten back to surfing the BBS every day as usual. But what's new is he's been stopping by the city employment center. I guess he wants to get a steady job and be a role model for Suzu. Uh, best of luck if it him. He would then eventually save a woman on a bus from a molester. Or well, a train, actually. Tricking the events of Densho Otoko. A day doesn't go by that I don't see I, Tashiwagi, on TV as part of Love and Hero. She sent a ticket like she promised, but I need to drum up some courage to go to a concert for teens. Alone, am I? Take Majita! <laughs> I'm sure you'll love it. Tawako Yasuoka is still working as a fortune teller in Ginza. Apparently, she believes I have spiritual powers or something. She keeps sending customers with spirit problems to the mansion. I wish she'd stop. Monica Hiro spends her days working as a researcher while also visiting the shelter. Her and Banshee squabble a lot, but I wish she'd stop complaining to me about it. Shuji Diamond seems to be doing better now, like a weight's been lifted off his chest. He's in the process of convincing officials to publicize a shelter and build a memorial for it. Banshee Ito has returned to his beloved underground shelter. He stops by the mansion sometimes, filling the place with his scent. Of course, he comes to begging for food. I'm so curious, like, what family you descended from. There is a, a DLC 6 chapter, which is included as part of the Western release. So maybe we'll, maybe you'll appear there, or maybe that's just new characters, we'll see. Now then. I finished my break and returned to the workbench in the corner of the room. Mary. Over the past two months, Mary has managed to repair herself. How do you even do that? Her power hasn't completely come back yet, but she's still extremely frightening. The ninja boots you alone won't be enough to continue stealing her powers in the years to come. 
I must prepare extra spiritual measures. It's taken a long time to get those ready, but today I finally finished. <laughs> Once everything's complete, I replace the Nichibutsu inside Mary. Thought she was moving. Finally, it's over. I pick Mary up and put her in the wood box. Five years. This all started when I opened that lid of this box. Mary stirs up at me from the depths of the box. I have no idea if she's aware of what's happening right now. But there's no doubt she'll regain her powers when the ninja boots who wears out decades from now. I'm determined to find a way to destroy this cursed doll before that happens. Until that day... You need to stay asleep, Mary. Sleep tight, Mary. Upvote this video if you want Mary to sleep tight. Death mark. End. Every upvote is never day that Mary doesn't awake. Now we gotta go back and get the bad ending after this. And we also have the sixth chapter, which, well, you know, I'll, I'll do it right after this, basically. So this series is not over yet. I'm not sure what the sixth chapter has in it, if it's connected to the main story, or if Mary, or if it's just like a cool thing, basically. Um, that's just the one I know, that there was a sense of CG. I think there's a workaround to go view it. Someone left in the comments about deleting the patch for the game. So we'll see if that works. If not, I'll, I'll pull some things of, um... Kind of combining a Japanese playthrough with a American one, footage-wise. Uh, any, like, of my post-commentary about, like, game discussion or anything like that, like, quality, um, I'll save that for the final, after the final DLC chapter when the series is over, over. Galley's been down to the tile screen, able to view the game illustrations. Nice. I was hoping for that. So, we're doing the other and bad ending now of the game, which is at least one person dies. Just turn the log really quick. So basically it's the same um, up to pretty much this point, and it goes over the survivors, and if anyone died, you just don't see them there in the epilogue. So, all the mark bearers who became victims are all for sakes of terror, Mary sought. Whenever I remember them, my chest aches, but I can't help but think. Is it possible that they bear a dark grudge against me for surviving? I'm so sorry. How many times have I mummered that useless and meaningless apology? But I became more determined each time. And all I can do now is make sure that that tragedy never happens again. Then I need to hurry my preparations for putting the Ninjibutsu inside Mary. The Ninjibutsu alone won't be enough to continue sealing our powers in the years to come. I must prepare extra spiritual measures. It's taken a long time to get those ready, but today I've finally finished. Uh-oh. Did the mansion just lose power? What's going on? What is this feeling? My arm is burning. Why is the mark... What? What's happening? Calm down, I need to calm down. First need to get a grasp on my situation. That's how I've survived this long. There's that squeak. A horribly familiar noise echoes in the hall.
dare you. Oh, God. Mary? Cue music. Get up and get down with the sickness. <laughs>